Okay, so I'm going to tidy up some of this, move some of the snow, go and start up the loader. Went and got 20 liters of diesel and 20 liters of gas. So we'll see if this guy's going to start. First of all, I got to put some gas in her because uh, it's bone dry, as in I'm surprised I backed in. So I remember I stored it with virtually nothing in it. So, <laughs> okay, I'll fill it up and then I'll catch a cold start. Okay, so I got some fuels in her. Now, this is a new battery. Uh, I put it in, I guess, in the summertime when I did my dad's uh, gravel at his yard. So, should be good. The crank over, we'll see. This thing used to hate starting in cold weather. Oh, it's starting to fire a little bit. Okay, let's try turning the fuel actually down a little bit. Back in a backfire or two. She's just flooding herself up, so let's take off the choke. You know, I actually don't think it's going to go. Okay, well... I smell a lot of raw fuel, so she definitely fluttered herself out. So, first thing I'm going to do is make sure that this isn't full of... Oh, I got a little bit of a... Uh, looks like some gas might have mixed with the oil sitting, but it's not that bad looking. So, probably going to have to put down the camera here. I'm going to let it sit for a few seconds. Okay, so you guys aren't going to see shit, but you'll hear it if it starts. Let's try again here. Pops, but nothing. Well, if I keep on cranking, I'm going to kill the battery because this thing here has a small battery. So what I'm going to do now is... I see a little bit of... I just heard a gunshot. Where is that smoke coming from? Hmm. I just think it's just from the exhaust, but let's take off the filter because I'm pretty sure she just flooded herself. So, a couple snowmobiles driving by in the background. Let's see if we get some fireballs happening out of here. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. Okay, so I just tried cranking and it got some fire coming out of there. She does not want to go. She does not want to go whatsoever. I'll be removing this battery to bring it in to charge it after this. Get a little bit more fuel. Oh, battery's dead. Come on, you piece of poop. Okay, I'm turning the choke back on.
Okay, I'm sure of it. It's a spark issue right now. Well, I think I'm going to have to call this. That battery there is going to be pretty low. I'm going to have to remove it now, bring it inside, give it a charge, because again, pretty much a brand new battery. I do not want to wreck it. But I think I'm going to go grab a spark plug first and throw in a new spark plug. This is the only one I can change. And good thing I actually have some spark plugs uh, made for her. <laughs> I think so, anyway. Because right now, the plugs in it aren't even made for it. Whew. Yeah, the spark plug is pretty wet. So this is not even BR8ES. I think this is the old snowmobile plug I had in it. <laughs> so that's far from what it should have. I guess the length of them are pretty close to the same, but... Huh. Well, let's change it on and see what happens. Okay, so spark plugs in. I just changed one of them. Let's see what happens. We're running on one cylinder. That cylinder's dead, guaranteed. Yep, that cylinder's stone dead. But it will catch. It will catch. I'm sure of it. So, I just gave them a lick test. You see it's not evaporating. So, I'll uh, close it up. and bring it outside. And I'll work on the other one after. But I'm pretty sure... Oh no, it looks like it's just... It might catch. I'll keep an eye on that. So... Okay, but pelt plugs make sense. Okay. Okay, so I could go up, but I can't go down. That valve body's frozen up. This one here is fine. So I can't go down, but I can go up on it. Uh, originally it was stiff, but I pushed and it. You can see it's barely moving right now. So I'm hoping once it warms up, it should fix that problem. I don't want to hit it too hard. But let's see if it's running on the second cylinder yet. Doesn't really sound like it, but it kind of did. Nope. I'm going to call that a no. Well, yeah, slightly. Slightly. It is starting to go, so... We'll see. <laughs> second cylinder is coming to life, finally. There we go. Hear a little bit of backfiring there. Again, to change that back plug, I gotta remove the battery, but right now, this is frozen. I got nothing out of that. This one works. Might have to warm this up with the torch, I don't know. I'm guessing it's just ice, moisture in the line. The hose is jiggle a little bit. I'm trying to lift, but it won't lower. So I think I'll go grab my torch and I'll uh, slightly warm that up and see what happens. Okay, so it seems like it's running on two cylinders now. I just have to warm up down here on the valve body there, and it seems like everything's good now. So it lifts and lowers fine. So it must just be a little bit of moisture, probably due for a full system flush. That's good. So yeah, it seems like it's running on two cylinders now, so I could go put the torch away and uh, start cleaning up. So it took uh, about 15 minutes or so, and then when I gave it some gas, you could see the second cylinder finally cut in, but I'm gonna have to pull out that battery and uh, change that rear plug almost for sure. That's all it is. So I should have did it when I changed the battery, but I never had the plugs. <laughs> so that has been a nightmare actually for a while with that machine, with it flooding. Well gonna put a torch away and then I'll start playing I don't think I'll get any on camera because Logan's not here to videotape it but meh maybe later on he will be I got lots of work to do with it well, I can tell you one thing the diesel is so much better in deep snow uh, this guy here has trouble getting through over here and this is the spot that we don't have much snow <laughs> doesn't want to turn as good I'm not plowing or anything I'm just playing right now 
Oh, that's where my diesel jerry can went, hey? Yeah, and I just went to put diesel in a kerosene can. Ooh, I'm getting a little deep here. Oh, probably close to six inches right there. Our shed's holding up good. That tree there, I don't care about that one, so I just drive over it. It seems like it doesn't ever want to die, but maybe it will now. I really doubt I'll push this anywhere with this kind of weight. Or maybe it will. And I'm probably not going to get over this very easy. Bad thing about having a snow bucket that's too thin and the outside tires. Well, it's slowly going through. There we go. <laughs> Push through that fine. I am not trying to plow back here, but, you know, let it go. See what happens. down slowly so not buckets not all the way down so it's not grabbing all the snow back weight been dragging a bit I'm just playing pretty much I didn't really need to even take this out today but it has been sitting so long I'm like yeah I might as well try starting it so yeah it's been sitting uh oh almost three months now I guess maybe two I don't know Well, I might as well put this away because I have no one to hold the camera. <laughs> just playing again. Well, I just dragged it out here, broke it free with the loader. Governor is uh, freed up now, but she does not want to go. So, it's so stiff with the transmission, the way that works. It has fluid in it, a uh, liquid clutch. So, I'm not getting anything out of her. Now, this thing used to be a bitch to start when it rained. So, I'm just going to leave it. I don't think we'll be making that video. I spent all that time making the track. But, I mean, I had to plow that anyway. We like walking on it. But, <laughs> that kind of sucks. Sears is running great. So, that's good. But, I don't know about this thing. <laughs> it's a Honda, but she don't want to start. Makes sense, it was full of ice and snow. I just knocked a lot of it off, but whatever. Maybe next week, maybe next month, next year, how's that? Well, go-karts for sure, no go. Just gonna leave it. I'll maybe bring it in, warm it up later on, but uh, everything else is pretty good here. But just did a little scraping around there. Made more of a mess than it's worth. Uh, Diesel does such a better job. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. people always have to make noise even when I just talk to them and tell them not to, hey? I'm making a video, but I guess it's fine. But just move some stuff around. It's a little bit close to the tarp shed, but it should be fine. I will be moving all that sooner or later. Never touched any of this. And that's about it. At least the loader got to start. Drove it around for about an hour and a half, just playing. Okay, well, I'm done for today. Time to go work on the wood stove again.